everyone, this is Barman973, and welcome back to Sakura Santa. I've got my mallet ready to break things if I need be. And uh, I'm picking up where I left off, and I still have my tutorial, and it says that for choice number two, for the ending we are going towards, is we need to visit the shrine today. Akina, right? I think I'll visit her. She said she was off in the spirit realm yesterday, but that she wanted a date? It's a little sudden, but yeah, I'll, I'll accept. So, no reason not to leave now. Phew. Oh, gosh. I wish I could breathe. Stupid ice cream. Woo, that took a while. Feels like the path was longer this time, but surely it didn't actually grow, right? The priest hobbles out to greet me. Oh, good. To see you again. Akina told me about you. Eh? You knew about her? Of course, it's my business to know her. Though normally I don't have people flirting with the parrot of the with the parrot. With the parrot! Squawk! 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 Of the shrine. She's not a parrot, she's a fox. Uh visitors are rare, huh? Yes, but even so, this is the first time I've seen her take such interest in someone. You must be truly a truly kind soul. Eh, uh, I'm nothing special. Hmm, you said that yesterday, and yet... Well, I'll not keep you any longer. Akina, spirit of the shrine, come forth. Your date is here. A loud thump echoes from the shrine. Akina's boun Akina bounces out, her eyes sparkling. Hey, Larry, you're here! Oh, I meant great, Larry. Uh, we're gonna have a lots of fun, a lot of fun together. Eager, to say the least. Please make sure you come back soon, Akina. The way the priest talks to her is almost fatherly. Oh, please come back soon, Akina. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Before long, we're already walking back through the forest. Huh, it looks like the space here got warped. What is... What's that supposed to mean? Oh, just a work-related thing. You shouldn't worry about it. Just think about today. Thinking about today reminds me of the long walk down the path. I guess the forest really did grow bigger? Well, she doesn't seem worried, so I guess I shouldn't be either. Now, I just want to ask her questions, though. Aren't there rules or anything for a spirit who leaves their shrine? Isn't she kind of abandoning her job? Going out with me? It's fine. I just have to finish up some work before I could go on holiday. After all, it's Christmas. They celebrate Christmas in the spirit realm? Well, no. But I heard people talking about it at the shrine. I haven't been out for a long time. No wonder she's so excited. But are you okay with this? I mean, just going right to a date? She grabs me up by the arm and rubs her chest against it. Whoa! <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? I know you aren't a bad person. Let go of my arm! The people who are, who, who are kind when they think no one else is looking are the best kind of people. It was just you and the priest, and you still chose to help him. I mean, isn't that the right thing to do? I don't need to be rewarded. There's no need to be shy about it, Larry. You did a good thing. Oh, look, we're in the city now. As we enter downtown, her eyes manage to shine even brighter, reflecting all the lights of the city. Let's go to Gingerbread Universe! All oh, the decorations, they're beautiful! She's really admiring the stores, lined with so many colorful lights and more. And Gingerbread Universe! Let's go to Gingerbread Universe! It's like I'm with a kid that's seeing everything for the first time. What's this? What's that? Look! Larry, I can barely believe my eyes. It looks like she can barely contain her excitement, too. This place has grown so big in only a few years. Um, has it been that long? Yes, I mean, I spend most of my time on my work. So how are you walking around without everyone staring at your fox parts? Easy, I don't let anyone see them. So you just don't give your permission? Exactly. I have no idea how that's supposed to work, but it's obviously not human. Suddenly, her attention is snared by another store. Gingerbread Universe! What do they sell there, uh, Koji? Gingerbread! 
She points towards it with her ears perked attentively. It's probably just another... Then I actually turn to see it. N nothing. They don't sell anything there. Eh? Hey? Nothing. They must sell something. How else would they stay in business? It'd be like that shop in, um... Dragon Age Inquisition, the one that sells this golden nug. Um, and people just, like, pay just to go see it, you know? And that's how he made his money. It's Because if you buy the golden nug, he's like, Now what will I do? I'm fabulously wealthy, but I don't have this nug anymore. It's, uh, nothing you'd be in interested in, really. What? Wait. Okay, I thought I double-clicked. How would I know that if I don't have a look? Let's just not go in there, okay? Her ears droop again. I feel like I kicked a puppy. Well, if, if Larry doesn't want... Fine. Let's go look at the golden nug. I feel manipulated, but I'm pretty sure the only one doing it is me to myself. I can't resist that face. Really? It's okay? Yes, just let's go before I get second thoughts again, okay? She practically drags me into the building. Yay! Uh, let's go! I want to see everything! Why can't we just go to Gingerbread Universe? As we enter the shop, a, sli a, a, sli yeah, a sliver small of dread goes down my spine. Oh! It's lingerie! Akina's expression is puzzled, to say the least. Um, what is the nothing they sell here, Larry? It's a lin 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 lingerie shop. Um, what is that? Why did I get picked to be the tour guide to the late to ladies' under things? It's something you wear under your clothes. Oh, so it's not so supposed to feel cold under this kimono. You mean you're not wearing any underwear? No. Is that weird? Is it that weird? Very much so! Suddenly my thoughts are captured by an image of a breeze coming by. Welcome out of town. Welcome out on the town with your boyfriend? Oh, wel welcome out on the town with your boyfriend. The shop attendant suddenly comes into view. That's right. Wait, when did I become your boyfriend? So what side of you do you want your boyf boyfriend to see? Something wild, dark, innocent? Akina just tilts her head to the side. I don't really know yet. Well, let's just try things on and see what you like. I can tell, uh, I can tell you all about what's most popular right now. I feel awkward, to say the least. Do it, Larry. I feel ya. But I did agree to go on a date with Akina, right? Yes, yes, tell me about everything new. Alright, I promise you it'll be cute or schmexy, depending. They wander off deeper into the shop. That leaves me to wander around. Why can't I just, like, sit at the entrance of the store? Shouldn't I have a chair for disgruntled boyfriends that come in there? I'm sure that I, I'm, that they actually have, like, the disgruntled boyfriend chair right near the exit so that when the woman's done, they can go, Oh, wait, yep, let's get out of here. Do they, do they actually have that? If somebody knows, please let me know down in the comments below. Is there di a disgruntled boyfriend chair or bench? Feels like everyone's staring at me. I probably look like some kind of weirdo. The attendant comes back, fortunately. Would you like to come with us to the dressing room? Larry, that's a no. She's really straightforward, I, but I guess she does this all the time. Don't worry, I take my boyfriend lingerie shopping all the time. It's no big deal. Yeah, thanks. I don't exactly feel reassured, but it isn't like Akina is far. Uh, when I get there, she's still inside. Leaves me. It leaves me waiting awkwardly for a couple minutes. Her eyes shine like, uh, her eyes shine like they ever do when she steps out, smiling brightly when she sees me. Do you, um, did you, um, find something you like? And she grabs the edge of her kimono. 
Ah! Cringing! 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 Don't look away, Daniel! That's the challenge! Stop looking at your computer tower! Cringing is okay! I need to read the words! Why are the words at the bottom of the screen? I don't want to turn my head! To you guys, it looks like I'm looking straight at it, but that's because the camera's reversed. I don't want to turn my head! Alright. I'm halfway there. My head's turned. Now I just gotta open my eyeballs. Lifting it up, she shows me her pink underwear. Held on by barely their straps and marked by a cute bow. These ones, Larry. What do you think? I'm totally dumbfounded. My mouth feels like it's full of cotton. People surely must be whispering about this. This can't be normal. What are you doing? I, you, you can't just flash your underwear at people. It's not as bad. I'm just looking at words. Why not? Aren't they good? My eyes are inevitably drawn to the underwear again. They cover much less than I expected. That's not the problem. Uh, I'm sure these were your type. It's not that I dislike them. It's just that you can't flash underwear in public like that. Uh, are you supposed to show your boyfriend these things? Not on the first date! Oh, I know. I should loosen them up a little. What? No! Don't make me censor this, Akina, please! With agonizing slowness, she begins to tug on the straps, and then the straps begin to slip down, down, down! The underwear is ancient! There's no way you can't know what underwear is! Eh, you got me there! Still, I really didn't know what... No, I really know. I can't read the words anymore. I, I, really, I really didn't want to know what you like. So you like the big again or maybe dark and lazy. Oh, no. How do you prefer a girl to wear them? She's curious. I'll give her that. How about like this? Yeah, she's only pulled on the straps, making the fabric up like to her. It's almost like I can feel... The bleeding! What bleeding? Uh, he stares just the stairs just drilling into my spine and I'm you had your pot in number one. She lets go of the strap they stack back into place in the cheeky box. But now seriously, do you like how my force went to look down over my embarrassment? I don't think they're looking at you. Her eyes seem to to the really big and the gold one. Ah, I can't read the words anymore. My eyes are filled with tears. What do you really think, you Larry? Right. This is how I'll get out of this. She'll be satisfied when she finds a purchase, right? Dude, I do look good under my side still. Let me try the next one. I got ten more I want to try on. I am the wife is such a long sentence. And then the shopping attendant said so much for that. I suppose what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Uh. <laughs> Literally have Tears in my eyes. Ah, my brain is broken. Oh no. Happy holidays.
Eventually, she settles on that pair of underwear. I lost track the number of shops we visit, and then we take a break in the park. I guess being a fox bear spurt spurt it's like a Spartan but short spurt being a fox spirit pays well because these shopping bags are getting heavy you know Larry yeah I wasn't kidding I wasn't wearing any underwear does she just enjoy the breeze then I guess she doesn't have any sense of modesty do you know what underwear are but you wait, so you know what underwear are, but you don't wear them? Right, it's much more comfy without them. Then why did you buy them now? Because you said you liked them. Her ears begin to falter again. Oh no. Maybe, maybe we're just saying that. Tell me the truth, Larry. How do they look? I wasn't lying. I really did like them. Larry, do not put words in my mouth. How did I get to talking with a fox spirit about modern, modern underwear again? If I were still in high school, I wouldn't be able to speak from all the embarrassment. I wasn't able to speak at all, and no one was watching me. And now my face hurts really bad. If you guys didn't think I smacked me, I smacked myself hard. I'm not sure how well I'm doing now either, but I guess I can still talk? Good, I'm glad, Larry. It seems kind of weird to me for a first date. Dates are supposed to be fun. Buying underwear is fun. I guess you're right. But I'm not sure how much fun for at or for who. What sort of place does she come from? Hey, Akina, are you really a spirit? Of course. See this tail? She flits it from side to side. I mean, it could just be a costume prop. Oh, of course. Can I touch it? Her eyes widen in shock. Touch my tail? N n n n no! I, I can't. The tail seems to be twitching all over the place. M m my t tail is. It's. What about your tail? It's sensitive. I've actually found something she's shy about. Might be the only thing. A little while ago, you were flashing me, and probably the rest of the store. Now you're embarrassed over your tail? You you don't understand. My tail is sensitive. It, it, it's like it's. A way different. It's sensitive in a um uh, in a other way. Oh, sweat out your ears, L Larry! You p pervert! If her ears and tail are really only visible to those sh who give permission, I can only imagine what this would sound like to anyone who walks by. They think we're crazy worse. They could be dead. So you're okay with flashing people you just met, but you can, but no one can touch your fox parts. Y yes, exactly. Vampire! No, fox! Sorry, fox have canine teeth. I'd only let someone who I, I, I knew really, really well touch them. Wow, I never imagined. Well, I guess that makes sense. Well, I didn't mean to pry, so sorry. I mean, I might consider letting you... Her voice grew fainter and fainter until it was almost just an XL. I'm not sure what she... I'm not sure if she meant for me to hear it. Well, we can wait, right? There's always another time. I still don't know if she's real for real or not. It doesn't matter, though. She's still a girl other way. A cute one, I bet. Thank you, uh, Larry. I know it's kind of strange for a human to date a fox spirit, but I'm telling you the truth. 
Her ears perk up from their droop. I can feel the relief radiating off her. It's 100% genuine Akina. No fabrications except for the underwear. Anyway, I had a wonderful time today, Larry. Come visit again sometimes. And I'll see you as soon as you come. Sure, I mean, I can't let the old man do everything himself, can I? Akina laughs. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him. It feels awkward just standing here. Would you like to walk back to the shrine together? Her tail swishes happily as she smiles. Thank you, Larry. Oh. I'm in too much pain to read the dot dot dot. That hurt. My, my, especially like my cheek and where my jaw is. What a day that was. Yesterday I was moping about, uh, there's no one to spend Christmas with. Now it seems I won't have enough time to spend. The phone ringing in my apartment cut through my thoughts. Hello? Hey, Larry. Your brother called recently. Said you sounded lonely. I haven't heard, I haven't heard from you in a long time there, Larry. I'm fine, Mother. Are you sure? What are you doing for Christmas? I don't know yet. Though something interesting happened yesterday. I went on a date. Oh, wow. A date. Why do you find that so surprising? I'm just very pleased to hear that. Your brother's already on his way to making us grand... You can stop there. I know you want grandchildren. We're not getting any younger there, Larry. But I'm happy for you. A date. Is she ni a nice girl? How do I describe a fox spirit to my mother? She uh, dresses really traditionally, and she has these brilliant eyes. She's a nice girl, yeah. A bit of a troublemaker, though. Be careful of be careful of troublemakers, Larry. If you marry one, you'll have to live with her. Ask your father about that. Right. Anyway, I have to go. Enjoy Christmas, Larry. Don't worry, I will. Bye, Mother. Oh, my dot dot dots. Oh, sorry, my dot dot dots. I injured myself. Well, that sure was a day. I sh had a lot of fun, though. She's kind of mischievous, but I guess I had a lot of fun. With all that nonsense about underwear, though. Well, who cares? I got a good view. All thanks to her. She's a bit of a tease, but I think I'm going to get along very well with this fox. I really want to touch that fluffy tail, though. Her, her ears, too. I want to know what fox fur feels like. I've actually held fox. Dead fox. Is that strange to say in the context of this game? Because at the rendezvous, you can find all sorts of fur from a variety of different animals, and Fox is one of them. Akina's fur seems silky. I wouldn't put it as silky. Their tail can be kind of soft, but uh, if I remember correctly, the, the, the fur on the back uh, and stomach and all that is actually a little bit bristly. I guess she finds it uh, schmexual, though. So I, uh, I'll wait until she's ready to go to the next level, I guess. I mean, with a fox girl's tail just curling in front of you like that, wouldn't want anyone want to touch it? Maybe I'm just trying to rationalize my desires. I guess she knows I'm a bit of a pervert either way, tail or no tail. There's still plenty of time until Christmas, so I wonder. I just have to think about it. All right, um, I'm going to end this recording here. Um, I've still got my little um, instruction pamphlet, booklet. It's not, it's okay, it's, it's the internet. It's an internet browser. Um, so, my face hurts. And this has been Poor Man 973, and I hope you all have a nice day. No, no, no.